Tan, more and more professionals joining to save America. A true story. Jeff, a California CPA, asked me to train him as an expert witness. I had him listen to my 15 hours of cassette tapes and read my manual. I then flew to Los Angeles and met him at a friend's house. I spent hours writing on a chalkboard, explaining the bank loan agreement. The best way to teach him the concepts was to hold a mock trial. I asked Jeff to pretend he was the bank president or CPA expert witness on the witness stand. As an expert witness, you must know everything about 63. America's hope to cancel bank loans without going to court. Banking. You cannot claim you do not know an answer to a question in the area you are testifying in. I asked Jeff, do you know the Federal Reserve Bank policies and procedures regarding loans, deposits, and bookkeeping entries? He said he did. Is a bank liability a banker's debt? I asked. He said yes. Do banks charge interest for the use of borrowed money? Yes, they do, he said. Is this a $100,000 promissory note? I said hypothetically, holding up a piece of paper. He said yes. If the bank refused to loan the borrower a $100,000 check as consideration for the promissory note, do you believe the bank would legally own the promissory note? He said, if the bank refused to loan the money, the bank does not legally own the promissory note. Does a bank liability mean the bank owes legal tender? He responded, yes. Is the check money or merely an order to pay money? He responded, it is not money. The Uniform Commercial Code says it is not money. It acts like money with the assumption that there is legal tender deposited to make the check valid. Is it your assumption that the bank followed the Federal Reserve Bank policies and procedures? He said if they didn't, would go to jail. Is it your opinion that the bank legally owns the promissory note? He said, yes. I said, Jeff, if this were a real court case, I think you would be headed to jail. At the very least, you would have lost the case. He asked me what the problem was. I explained that the check could never be the consideration loan for the promissory note. If the check was the consideration loan, then there was no cash or asset behind the check, making the check illegal. The Fed publication state that the bank never loans other depositors money or legal tender as consideration for the promissory note. According to the Fed publications, the promissory note is used as the value to fund the check. If the promissory note funded the check, then the check could never be the consideration loan because the bank. 64. America's hope to cancel bank loans without going to court. Own the promissory note without loaning one cent of legal tender. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The question is, did the bank steal the promissory note or record it as a loan from the borrower to fund the check? Did they then lie and claim the check was the consideration loan to obtain the promissory note? Key lesson. Most non-bankers believe the bank will keep and entries were the opposite of what the agreement actually was. There is no agreement without mutual understanding. Did the agreement imply a loan of the bank's money to the borrower or a loan of the borrower's money to the borrower? The banker does not want to answer which came first, the chicken or the egg. Jeff asks me what if the bank sold the promissory note. Was the promissory note stolen? Look up the words receipt of stolen goods and property, and I think you will agree that the one who bought the promissory note understood the bank policy, standard bookkeeping entries, and agreement. They had knowledge and intent. Buying a car you know was stolen makes you guilty. As judge and jury, you must decide that the acquisition of the promissory note is receipt of stolen goods or property. Stealing is defined as obtaining another's property through a trick, a dishonest act without authorization or permission given, larceny, embezzlement, false pretense, or other wrongful acquisitions. Larceny is defined as obtaining property by unauthorized means through fraud, false representation, intentional perversion of the truth, deception with intent, or preconceived plan to convert or steal. Larceny by fraud or deception is defined as obtaining property by deception, using or creating a false impression, and or reinforcing a false impression, or preventing one from obtaining the correct information that may alter the transaction. The deceiver fails to correct the misleading information, which he previously created. Example, the bank claimed there was a loan when there was only an exchange of equal value, and then they charged you as if they loaned you their money. The deception changed the cost and the risk of the transaction. Through this trick, the banks could obtain nearly 65. America's hope to cancel bank loans without going to court. All the property in the nation for free. Judges and attorneys have routinely refused evidence into court. Larceny by fraud, extra shine, and concealment are committed when a court prevents one from bringing evidence into court for one's defense. The lawyer reinforces a false statement, claiming there was a loan, concealing that the bank took actual cash value from us, returned it back to us, and claimed it was a loan from the bank, and not return the unauthorized loan from us to the bank. Please look up the words conspiracy and white-collar crime as well. The bank told you that you received a check you can cash for legal tender, and that the check was the loan allowing you to buy the house or car. All one has to do is follow the money. Terrell Bakapin treats to see that this is not the case.